Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today I'm going to do a little tutorial slash a little informational video about microdermabrasion, specifically diamond microdermabrasion, but I'll give you a little bit about crystal as well. So if you'd like to stick around and find out more, then make sure to subscribe as I do videos on lots of different beauty treatments. I'm a beauty therapist and have my own beauty studio and that is where I'm going to be doing my treatment on myself from today because I thought why not it's also a bit of a luxury facial tutorial I'll do these about once a month and these help deeply exfoliate my skin but I'll get into more of that later on but if you'd like to see how I do it then just keep watching so I have trained in microdermabrasion before um, I trained actually when I was working in a spa and um, so that's where I trained that's where I got my certificate in microdermabrasion so if you are going to start on a client they may wear makeup so you need to remove that um, I have removed my makeup before but I'm going to cleanse for you so I'm going to put on my headband which again you put on a client so this is great this is going on the internet so I'm going to cleanse um, and I, these is the brand I use um, they are the Casio Beauty um, and you can get these in lots of um, wholesalers so that's where you get them from um, but you can use whatever cleanser you prefer um, so from a client's point of view um, as that's probably what most of you are microdermabrasion is an amazing amazing facial to go for it deeply exfoliates the skin gets right down removes all your dead skin it's great for any type of skin it's anti-aging it's amazing if you've got oily or spot prone skin as it's super super clearing so this is an amazing facial to go for and i would recommend this to anyone really um as it's such a good facial if you've got a special occasion it's amazing um to do like a week before or even a couple of days before just to really deeply exfoliate your skin so i've just cleansed and i'm going to wipe that off um obviously if you're doing this on a client you cleanse their skin um so this is a really really lovely facial so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double cleanse and i'm going to dry my face and then i'll get back to you so now my face is super clean and I'm going to hand over to a voiceover when I'm doing the facial because it's quite noisy. Um, but all I'm going to do is, this is the wand, so it's kind of like a bit like a pen. And as this is diamond microdermabrasion, the tip itself is abrasive, so it's little diamonds and they are abrasive. So it's kind of, my mum described it like you're going to put a scouring pad over my face, which isn't true. It's very, very gentle and basically this sucks up all the dead skin, so this becomes a bit like a vacuum with the kind of coarse end and I'm going to go over my face and exfoliate but I'm going to hand over to voice over Amy now and show you how I do it. So you're going to want to start off with the forehead and go from sort of the centre of the forehead out and then do the exact same when you're doing on one side on the other. You're then going to go from the nose outwards and you want to stretch the skin at all points. You don't want to sort of drag it across the skin. So you're going to go straight from sort of your nose outwards. Now if you can do this in one motion, that's amazing. Do it on myself. I found it a little bit difficult so I did it in smaller sections. If you're not comfortable doing big sections, just do them smaller. But you're basically just want to do whatever you do on one side on the other just going over the whole skin with the wand you don't want to push too, too hard just go nice and gentle and then it won't be uncomfortable for the client and it will make the pen sort of glide over a lot easier if they've got sort of problem areas you might want to go over them again and um, but don't go over them more than twice so I'm just going all over. I sort of start from the outside and then kind of work my way in and then finish on the nose. That's just personally how I like to do it. But obviously you'll learn a way and if that sticks, then that's great. Um, onto the neck. Now you're just going to go from bottom upwards as you don't want to drag down the neck, which is kind of the whole idea. You always want to be lifting up the skin rather than dragging down. But just stretching out my skin as always whenever I'm doing any movement and that's how to get the perfect stembrasion. So now my skin is all gone over, I actually would then cleanse again if it's crystal. If it's diamond, it's up to you. There's probably no residue on the skin, but I am going to cleanse anyway just to get off any dead skin that it might have missed. Um, I'm only going to cleanse once. If you're doing crystal microdermabrasion, the crystals basically get pumped out onto your skin and then sucked back up, um, and that's what's exfoliating. Um, but after that, if obviously it doesn't suck up every single crystal, and by crystal, um, it's a bit like imagine an exfoliator but just the bits rather than so just dry bits so they're getting pumped onto your skin and pulled back up and that is what's going to exfoliate your skin um 
So with crystal, your skin has got a lot of crystals on afterwards, so you would want to cleanse your client's face afterwards, um, and that's what will happen if you get one. Um, so I'm just going to wipe off any excess dry skin and um to be fair if you're having an express microdermabrasion then i would just um tone and moisturize after that but if you're having a luxury one you can pop on a mask now which i'm going to tone and then i'm going to pop on a mask and then i'll chat to you a little bit about um about microdermabrasion while it's great and so i'm going to put on my moist my mask and then i'm back to you so if you are getting a microdermabrasion or if you're performing one, you want to make sure that all the products you're using are super, super calming. So you don't want anything too vicious on the skin. Um, so I've used the calming range of all this range and that's super good and just nice and gentle because you are deeply exfoliating the skin. So once you've had a microdermabrasion, you don't need to exfoliate for four weeks. Make sure your client knows that. Make sure you know that when you go. Don't be tempted to start exfoliating again just because you've deeply exfoliated your skin. This is super good though. I love that because it literally means all I have to do every day is just like cleanse, tone, moisturise. Um, and I don't have to worry about exfoliation, which is great. Um, make sure for the rest of the day you don't wear any makeup, preferably not the next day as well, but it's up to you. Um, and just make sure it's really natural makeup. You don't want to clog the pores up that we've just unclogged. So makeup like Bare Minerals is amazing as it just doesn't clog up your pores. So it's perfect. Um, so I say no exfoliation for four weeks. Um, so I'd say have this facial every four weeks. It's an amazing one. Um, if you're going somewhere and they offer peels, it's amazing with a chemical peel. Um, just because that kind of works a little bit deeper. So the the way good way to describe it is the microembrasion is kind of working from outside in, and the peel works from inside out. So the the peel will soak into your skin, and your skin will react. Um, so it's a really good one to use in conjunction with that. I don't actually offer peels here, um, as it's just something I haven't invested in here. But I am trained in peels. But yeah, I love microdermabrasion. I actually did it on my mum and she was very sceptical. Um, she thought it was going to hurt, which it does not hurt at all. It's a bit sort of, I wouldn't even necessarily say scratchy. Um, but it's the actual microdermabrasion part of the facial is over so quickly. And it's actually quite relaxing. Um, it's kind of just a sucking motion on your skin. Um, but it feels really nice. Um, obviously, if you get a luxury one, then you'll offer and get a massage as well. Um, I wouldn't do a facial massage afterwards as it's just too much active stuff going on the skin um but a lovely decollete and shoulder massage an arm massage a foot massage anything like that is perfect to go with it um and that's the sort of thing i'd offer um also in terms of taking off your mask um i have a hot towel caddy um which i have mitts for which i'll use in my other facials but in microdermabrasion i actually prefer just a bowl of water um with sponges as i just think it's slightly more gentle on the skin um but yes so in terms of if you have it done um make sure to avoid the sun for the next 24 hours and just don't really put anything on your skin um, moisturise the next day um, it's completely normal if your skin feels slightly dry afterwards it's just because we're deeply exfoliated to so do it as you normally would when your skin feeling dry put on a serum put on a mask put on um, anything hydrating a nice moisturiser and that'll definitely clear that up for you but I'm going to take this mask off and put on my moisturiser and I tell you my skin will look glorious afterwards so now my mask is off I've toned and I've moisturised my skin is all silky smooth and great I love this facial so much it's probably my go-to facial in terms of what I'd get when I go out um, I just love it um, so I have toned and moisturised now so there's nothing more I need to do to my skin I'll leave it until tomorrow um, probably tomorrow morning when I put up on some moisturiser um, but I'll probably try and go makeup free tomorrow just to let my skin breathe a little bit more my pores have all been unclogged so best leave them to get as fresh as possible but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown on other facts about my microdermabrasion I love it and um, I just thought I'd tell you that my mum was really nervous about having it but I got a new machine and I wanted to try it out. So I said to her, will she have one? And she said, yep. Yeah. And she was a bit nervous, um, but it does not hurt at all. It's super relaxing and it's a really, really nice facial. And the next day she went, Amy, I was putting on my moisturizer this morning and my skin just felt so soft. And I think that's the number one thing to take away from microdermabrasion is if you want your skin to feel so soft, and just feel really hydrated and oh it's such a lovely facial to go for because it's literally taking away all your dead skin and it's just such a nice one to go for it's great for all skin types if you're oily and acne prone 
it's amazing to help with scarring it's amazing with fine lines and wrinkles if your skin's feeling dry then it's a great one because it'll really hydrate your skin and take off the dry layer and it's just such a gorgeous facial um so if you have any skin concerns at all um just drop them down in the comments or give me a dm on instagram which is at englandsx and i'll be sure to get back to you let you know what sort of facials would be good for you um so in terms of if you have any skin problems that you're nervous about or you're worried about obviously if they're something serious then go see a doctor but if it's just sort of like i've got some spots i'm not too happy with then call up your local salon call up your local spa call up your local at home therapist and just sort of discuss with them what sort of things you are worried about or want sorted out and they'll be able to tell you what things will be best for you um and just then do your own research think i want to sort this out and just give a little research on what's best. That's what I want to try and do here. I want to try and inform you on different facials, different options for all treatments. So you can make an informed decision then on what's going to help my skin, what's going to help me feel more confident. And that's at the end of the day what it is. We want you to feel as most confident as possible. We want you feeling out, coming out of the salon relaxed, um, empowered, feeling great, feeling your best self. And that's exactly what we try and do. Um, so if you have any like p local places that you want to try out just give them a ring they're honestly not as scary as you think they are i think i was quite intimidated by beauty salons i didn't really go there before but working in one and having one myself i know how different it is we are here to help my main goal is to make you feel good and that's exactly what we're here to do so if you have any um people in your life that are sort of struggling with some sort of acne or fine lines and wrinkles or anything like that and they've come to you and said i don't really know what to do then tell them microdermabrasion is definitely an option i think it's such a good way to sort of um deeply cleanse your skin while also helping smooth it out and make it feel super hydrated obviously when you exfoliate your skin the masks and the moisturizer can penetrate so much deeper into your skin and hydrate it so much more um, and that's definitely an important thing we need at the moment when it's freezing cold and yeah definitely a lovely treatment but as I say if you have any skin concerns or any treatments you don't really know much about and you want to know more then either drop me a comment below or dm me on instagram again it's just at amelones x and if you like these sort of videos, please let me know. Subscribe if you want to hear, see more beauty content. I've always had quite a lot of fashion videos out at the moment. So if that's the sort of thing you like, then subscribe. I've also got some DIYs coming. I know I've been quite lax with my DIYs, but I haven't been able to go to the charity shops, and that's normally where I find my stuff to DIY. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, don't worry, stick around. I will be bringing out more soon. And subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.